Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha'ala, ko holo yimla, yawa bashim yawashai, bahashim, rakahachutash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Zachna Nawaf is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And again, hey, we go off into the prophecies of the last days, man. And one of those prophecies is the um, iniquity shall abound, um, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, so this is, um, it says, this is crime in courts. Arkansas woman is arrested after her six-year-old son is found dead under the floorboards of their home, right? So, <laughs> hey, you can't get more, no more cold-hearted than that, man. Where you, you know, you do something to your baby and, 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 and you, you dig up the damn floorboards and, and bury them under the, under the home and, and nail the shit back down, man. Like, <laughs> Hey, hey, this place is getting crazy as hell. If you don't think that we're in the last days, hey, I don't know what to tell you. All we're doing is warning the flock. We're letting you, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because you are the Hebrew Israelites, and that the Lord is coming back for you. And if you don't want to get down, you're going to lay down. You see? And, and, and there's so much stuff that's going on out here, man, amongst our people that... You think that our people would just want to repent, man, but 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 our people are getting wilder and wilder and wilder. Now, this sounds like an Edomite situation right here. This sounds like so-called white people shit right here, because, uh, uh, hey, let's just get it, though, because this lady right here, she, uh, she, let's just get it. It's like you. Let's see if I can get this to play. She looking crazy as hell too. Salaki, so it was just playing just a little while ago. Salaki, so bear with me. Okay, let's see if um, we can get this to play. Uh, just a small, quiet town. Nothing, nothing like this. It's happened around here. Glenda Farrell is still reeling from learning the tragic details of what was going on in the small white home next door. Around 1045 Friday night, Arkansas State Police say a six-year-old boy's body was found inside of this home in Murrow, Arkansas. The investigation shows the boy died from injuries he sustained in the home three months ago. Tonight, his mother, 28-year-old Ashley Rowland, is locked up in the Lee County Jail and charged with capital murder, abuse of a corpse, and tampering with evidence. The mother's boyfriend, 33-year-old Nathan Bridges, facing those same charges. Honestly. Sometimes you'd see kids outside playing, but they really kept to themselves. You know, you'd see them coming and going, but really nothing to, to be concerning. That, you, that would make you think anything of that magnitude was going on. The state medical examiner will determine the exact cause of death. Police also investigating burns to another six-year-old girl who lived in the same home, who's being treated at Labonner Children's Hospital in Memphis. Devastating details that are leaving this town of around 200 people with a lot of questions. It's devastating because, I mean, it's just, just out, of, out of nowhere. I mean, right here in Christmas time, it's surreal. I have no idea how they did that. I had a lot of questions. A lot of questions. We reached out to the Lee County Sheriff's Office to see if we could get any answers to those questions, and they tell us it will be Monday before we can hopefully bring those to you. All right, enough of the feminine guy. We don't need to hear nothing from you, him. It would make you think but, um, anything. Let me grab that one quick scripture on. real quick. The state medical and, examiner and like will I said again, the exact... I'm thinking that this might be some Edomites because they're not showing the picture. Because generally when it's, you know, this got anything, you, yeah, if that had been so-called black people, that shit, the pictures would have been plastered all online. They'd have ran the story like crazy and everybody in the world would know about that shit. And, and like I said, see, this, the, the man of sin, the son of perdition is being revealed in these last days, man, according to um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. See, the so-called white man is being revealed for... Who they really are, man. The damn devil. These people are vicious as hell. They don't care about their own. So when it comes to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, why are you trusting in these people to take care of you? Why are you trusting in these people to look after you? Why are you going marching, voting, and doing all this shit? These people don't care about their own people. They put up a good front like they do. 
But you should be worshiping. You should be going towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, in these last days. Praying to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai for repentance and turning from your wicked ass ways, man, before he 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 destroys you, man. You see? But let's go, um, let's let's get that that scripture real quick. Um because the disciples asked Yahweh Shai what would be going on in the last days. And this is this is one of them. Verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's so much wickedness here to the point where everybody is just cold-blooded as hell. These people don't care nothing about no. <laughs> she is like, oh, and, and it's so close to the Christmas holidays. That's the first thing they bring up. You're damn your, your Christmas holiday because white Jesus is not doing nothing for your country. White Jesus is the problem with your country. Like all this damn I, idol worship, man. The Lord loves everybody with that that doctrine that you pushed, you Christians done pushed for so long is the reason why these people so damn out of hand. And, you know, not not just that. that that's the only reason, because, you know, you how about Shimei was shy. He's in control of all things. He you know, he um, man's goings of Yahweh, And it was actually the Lord that actually does the killing. <laughs> let's just get that real quick. So let, let's not get it twisted. And, you know, you Christians, you'll be like, well, why would the Lord do such a thing to a six year old? Because he can. Because he can, man. Deuteronomy 32, and it's, and it's called judgment. Deuteronomy 32 and um, 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, and that's a scripture that I never heard in the Christian church when I was going. And I was going hardcore, man. <laughs> like straight up, I was going hardcore. Let's get this Isaiah 45 and 7. And these scriptures, you know, they used to come out all the time when I first came into the truth. You know, you hear them here and there. But, you know, to you newcomers, you got to realize that it's the Lord. You how about Shimei was shot? He's the one that makes alive and he's the one that kills, man. It's not no Satan. Satan is just an employee for the Lord, man. Isaiah 45. In verse 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See that? See? And these are scriptures that, like I said again, I never heard that come out in the, in the Christian church. And you're not going to hear these scriptures come out because these, these pastors, they want congregants, man. They don't want to scare your ass away. They want to just, you know, feed you. And our people like entertainment. They like um, um, to be buttered up and shit, man. They like... Um, you know, a uh, uh, bullshit speech and, and, and being lied to. It, 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 that, it. <laughs> they don't want to hear no truth, man. The truth of the scriptures really cut them to the heart, man. They don't want nothing to do with the real power of this of this Bible, man. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? See, the Lord done that. The Lord sent the spirit to 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 handle that business right there. Matter of fact, let's get that in the apocrypha real quick. These scriptures come out all the time, man. But, you know, we, we kind of shy away from these these judgments, these judgment lessons, you know, because it seems repetitious, but we still got to do it. We have to do it, man. Let's get um, Ecclesiasticus. As you best believe, hey, it's the Lord is not playing no games out here right now, man. Judgment is going out hardcore. Ecclesiasticus 39, also known as the Book of Sirach and the Apocrypha, if you have a 1611 King James Bible. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. See, the Lord, he created spirits for vengeance, right? Which in their fury lay on sore strokes, which means that, hey, when they getting busy, they, they, they get down. and ain't no letting up neither. In the time of destruction, they power off their force. So when it's time to destroy something, they go hard, hardcore, man. They don't, they, I'm telling you, they don't let up and appease the wrath of him that made them. So they do this to appease the wrath of Yahweh, the Lord, the most high, right? Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. See now what that little boy done. Wait, we don't know, but we know that the Lord created death for vengeance. And it could have been, you know, to to judge his damn mama, too, because she's going to get judged. You know, 
And, and depends on what kind of prison they send her to, she might catch her demise be, um, um, behind bars, man. Somebody be done ran up on her ass and done her all kinds of dirty. And that man that was in the house, too. You see? Okay, it says, the t teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. So you have all these elements, and it's more to it. <laughs> it's more to it. It used to be a say uh, saying, six million ways to die, choose one. It's probably way more ways to die, man, because people die in the most craziest ways these days. It's like just when you think you've heard it all, you're like, damn, he died like that? Like how? You see what I'm saying? Verse 31 is, 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 is scary, man. <laughs> they shall rejoice in his commandment. Now, these spirits, they say they rejoice in getting a commandment from the Lord to go kill somebody. Even somebody as, as, as young as a six-year-old. The Lord killed infants, man. The Lord killed pregnant women with the, with the baby still in the stomach. This is the type of power you're dealing with. See, people don't have no fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in these lads. They, they don't have no fear of them. Most of them don't believe in them. You know? Here you go. You see the judgment. You see his beauty on a day-to-day -day basis just from his creation. The scriptures even talks about that. You, you, you can just tell from looking in the skies and looking at trees and just paying attention to nature and looking at certain things, man, and, and, and can tell that there's a power, man, that there, there, there's a God, man. But these people, they reject that. They, they believe in science. They believe that, you know what I'm saying, and, and those so-called white man telling them about some shit that happened six billion years ago as if they really know. Like, come on, man. Straight up. But this, this scripture is scary right here. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. So they just standing around waiting. They, they, they waiting on an assignment to do. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So they wasn't like, well, Lord, he's just a six year old. Nope. The Lord said, go get his ass, man. And, and, and you know, already know it's a, um, a, a ricochet to that. Like, you know, a, um, a water ripple, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Um, a, a ripple effect. Because your community hear about it. They shook. You, 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 her grandpa, the, the mother's parents heard, heard about this shit. They shook. The, the aunties, uncles, they shook. Cousins, they shook. Everybody like, well, damn, what the, you know. So now the ripple effect of her being in jail, ain't no telling what that's going to turn out like to be. But anyway, you know, the point has been made. But let me, because I wanted to see if they had a picture of this woman, man. Because why aren't they showing no pictures of this lady? Why aren't they showing no mug shots? Because they'll throw Jacob on this motherfucker. Zach's cause of death. Like, Please also invest. They would throw Jacob on this boy and run his picture The investigation all day long. shows the boy died from injuries. He's like, stained in the home three months ago. Trying to stop that. I want to do a, another search on this. Um, let me see. Ashley Rowland. She was 28. And probably was on a damn fucking old meth. A goddamn heroin head or something or a damn opioid head because you know that you can see that house <laughs> you know you, you you can just this is why I'm, I'm looking at this if this would be so-called black people i would be surprised as hell let me see you know what let me just do this because i want to do a um let me do a, a duck duck go search on this because i actually uh i took this from the iPhone and I sent it to this phone so uh, nothing hmm that's interesting I'm telling you though man hey these so called white people they don't want matter of fact let me do a google then maybe google got something on it these so-called white people, they do not want to be seen in this way, man. See, when it comes to our people, they plaster your ass all over the news. But when it comes to them, hey, they don't want to be seen in this light. I'm telling you, you have to pay attention to this stuff, man. Okay, Google might have something. Here we go. Okay, Google got something, but the thing of it is, is where in the, they not showing, why aren't they showing some photos? That's how I'm, I'm pretty much thinking this is some Edomite shit. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the hey, you know the Daily Mail be on their ass. Daily Mail be on your ass like TMZ. <laughs> Daily Mail is not letting nothing up, man. 
Let me see here. Come on, come on. Here we go. All right, where the photos at? Well, as you can see from the, they, they, you know, we don't go by color, but, you know, up oh, there you go. Who is this? This the, damn, that's her. She look like a little fucking kid. Yeah, she looking like a goddamn demon, though. Damn, she looked like she bought fucking six years old. Anyway, here go the guy right here. You dealing... So I'm assuming it's the little boy right here. Damn. That's cold-blooded, man. Hey, but like I said again, these are the same people that had our people in slavery, man. And, and, and at a time where we wasn't able to protect ourselves in no type of way. They had us, man. Doing all manner of wickedness to us, man, as a people. And like I said again, they don't care about their own people, man. So you so-called blacks, man, hey, y'all better come out of this, this perception that these people care about you. Because when the get down, get down, when the Lord allows these people to get loose, it's going to be treacherous on us as a people, man. These when Jacob's trouble come, these are going to it's going to be people like this right here that's going to be on your ass. With guns, with machetes, with axes, with, you know, have your ass tied up in a basement, chained up somewhere, and just torturing you, man. It's people that that's chained up right now. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's people chained up right now, man, in somebody's house, man. Right now, as we speak, probably in the hundreds of thousands, being tortured on a day-to-day -day basis, man. And this is why we tell our people to repent. Repent, man, while, while, while the door is open for repentance, man, in these last days, man. And like I said, again, this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because when Jacob's trouble hit, you don't want no parts of these so-called white people in this manner. Ain't no telling how they're going to do us. You know, we don't know our lot. We don't know where we're going to be at. But, hey, we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for mercy, man. And that we're not. That's why the scripture, uh, what's that, Luke? Let's get that real quick. Let's get Luke real fast. Now I'll end out here, your Yahweh Ratazah, because this is crazy as hell. You, you know how heartless you got to be, man, to do some shit. Like, it's like, wow, golly. Whoo. You better off lying and telling. And, and we sure it's going to lie anyway. But damn, you, damn. You just buried the little man's under the three months, and they ain't saying how they actually found out. Like, I would like to know, like, you know, what, you know, maybe it was a welfare check or maybe he wasn't showing up for school or whatever the hell. Anyway, let's get this Luke 21 and 36 real quick. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. See? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. So you should be praying constantly, man. On a day-to-day -day basis, you should be praying to the Lord, Yahweh. Yahweh, please have mercy on me. Please have mercy on my family. Please help me to be accounted. Get, get me, help me to be prepared to be accounted worthy enough to make it through all the things that are to come to pass. And accounted worthy enough to stand before the Son of Man. You see? Praying constantly, man. You know, we're trying to get prepared right now. We, this is the reason why we, you know, we study. We, we go into the scriptures. We, we, we look into these things. And it can be a little bit tiresome and vexing. You vexing, you know what I'm saying? And can wear on, on the mind a little bit. But, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, he has given us the strength to do this work, man. And we're not just doing these lessons for nothing. We're doing it because he wants these lessons to be done. He wants you to know that we're living in the last days, that shit is about to get crazy as hell and crucial as hell. And the man of sin, that son of perdition is being revealed. These people are crazy as hell. You can't forget about these people came to a whole nother continent, loaded your asses on boats and shipped you here. And they still hate your ass to this very day. You see it all the time, man. They're not <laughs> they're not letting up. They're not letting up, man. Just because you got a so-called cool co-worker and y'all doing TikTok challenges and shit together. Hey, you better realize when the Lord, because the Lord, there's going to come a time where these people are going to be let loose again on us, man. And it's just that simple, man. So with that, 
I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.